welcome to Kennedy K. I'm so excited today for this video. If you guys haven't read the title, we are going to be talking about where we are moving and updating you guys on our medical school journey. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to tell you guys where we are going. And I'm so happy that we found out because it's been, it's taken a while. It, let me tell you, it's taken, it's been a long road and it's gonna be even a longer road. But before we get going and telling you guys all of the fun and great stuff that we just found out, I need to kind of explain it for some of you, you may not know our story and what's going on in our lives, so let me kind of update you. So I'm Kennedy, I'm the oldest of 16 kids. It's crazy, it's fun, I love it. If you know them, they're not enough Nelsons, they are, it's just so fun. And Chase and I, this is my husband Chase, we got married on June 11th, 2021, and We've been able to go to school and we've been able to travel a bunch and do a bunch of things to prepare ourselves for this medical school journey. Obviously, I'm not going into med school, Chase is, but I'm alongside him and I'm helping him and trying to support him in any way I can. And so, again, we got married and here's a little snippet of our wedding video.
So, after a few years of being married, Chase and I decided to try to have kids and I found out I was pregnant and it's been a crazy, wonderful pregnancy. I just had the best time. I surprisingly, I got a little sick, but overall I was like really healthy and just had a overall amazing pregnancy. And then about six weeks ago, I had a baby. And it's a little boy, he's the cutest little baby. I love him, he's just been an angel. And it's been an adjustment kind of learning how to become new parents and figuring out postpartum stuff and breastfeeding and just becoming a mom. But we have loved every second of it and it's just been the best experience so far. Something that's been a little crazy is we had our baby in February and then now we have to move in the end of March, which guys, it's coming up. It's literally for me in a week, which, oh my gosh, it's a week. I'll tell you a little more of where and everything else. On YouTube, I've been talking a little bit about our medical school journey and kind of figuring out what our life is gonna look like in the next four years. Let me kind of update you on how all that worked. So, Chase had to take a huge test, which is called the MCAT, and that took a lot of studying and a lot of hours for him. And then he had to take that. He had to do a bunch of research. He had to do tons of different um, classes and get good grades. He had to graduate, which is kind of a little obvious. He's had to do a lot of different work things to uh, get experience. He's had to do a lot of volunteering. There's tons of things that you have to do to apply to med school. And then not only do you have to do a ton of things, but even applying is really difficult. And so we ended up applying. It's been a little, it's been quite a few months. And then you have to do interviews. And so we ended up having, not we, Chase ended up having interviews. And I always say we just because I feel like we're a team and we go together. So, which I guess that's true. Anyway, he did interviews and he felt really good about those. And then we ended up looking at different locations of the schools that we really liked. And now it's time to get all of our results. And I will be sharing all those results a little bit later. I've had a few questions that I wanted to just update you before we get going and telling you guys a little bit more about what's gonna happen. I've had a lot of people asking like, how I'm doing postpartum and how is baby and everything else. So baby is amazing right now. He's sleeping, he's so, so sweet. And he's been doing really, really well. He's growing, he's getting big, just all the good stuff. And then I've been, I feel like I've been doing really well as well. I'm six weeks postpartum right now and I just, getting this week to start being able to work out, which I'm so excited about because I've literally craved working out. I miss it so much. I've only been able to go on like a little bit of walks, but it's kind of cold where I live. So it's been a little hard to go on walks. So I'm excited to start getting back into my old routine of going to my workout class and lifting some weights. Obviously I need to be patient with myself and go pretty slow to make sure that I am still taking care of myself, but I'm really excited to start working towards my goals again and just start working now. I'm just It's the best and I miss those endorphins that I get. So I'm really excited about that. I also feel like I'm doing really good mentally so far and I've had a lot of great support systems that have been checking on me and I'm just blessed. I feel like I've been doing really, really well. How are we doing on sleep? I got that question a lot. We are doing pretty good. Baby is sleeping at minimum two and a half hours usually, especially in the night. So he's doing so good because I feel like two and a half hours is still pretty good and that's the minimum. The other night he slept five and I was so proud of him. I was like, you go dude. He literally gave me the best good little rest and I was grateful for it and he's just amazing sweet little baby and I love him. So I've been doing really good with that with sleep. Kobe Bear. Kobe Bear is my little puppy. This is him right here. A lot of people are wondering how he's doing with the baby and let me tell you, at first he was so scared of the baby crying. Like, I don't know if he thought that we were, first he would like go hide and then he started barking because I think he thought that we were like hurting the baby. He would like start barking at us and he would get mad at us. And we're like, come here, it's just the baby. He's just fine, we'll just change him and then he gets better. But he was a little nervous, but now he's doing really good and he like loves the baby. He loves trying to give kisses to the baby, which I'm trying to make it so he doesn't do that. But <laughs> he really loves the baby and it's been really good. So thank you all for the advice on that too. I had a lot of people recommend for introducing them to get the baby blanket at the hospital. 
and bring it to him and have him smell the blanket before he meets baby and that worked wonders. And there's just a lot of other advice on things for when it came to introducing a dog to your brand new newborn and it helped a ton, so thank you guys. All right guys, now it is time to answer the question, did Chase get into med school? Did Chase get into med school? First, before I even say anything, I just want to say I'm so, so proud of Chase and I'm so grateful for him. He has worked absolutely so hard to get the grades and to get the test scores and to study his booty off and put in the work. He's a perfect example of putting in the work and I am just so grateful for him and proud of him. And I don't even know how he does it, but he studies and he works so hard, but he also makes time for me and for our baby and even for our dog. He's just an amazing man and I'm really, really grateful for him. So I just wanted to say that before. Anyway, let's answer the question. Did Chase get into med school? Drum roll, please. Yes, he did. Woo! He got into med school. It was such a fun experience. It was kind of crazy. So for how the process was is a little different than other people that applied to med school, but we had a match day and we found out at seven in the morning, we got an email knowing if we got into the med school or not, or got into a few different med schools. So that was kind of crazy. And it was like the best experience opening up email and seeing that we matched with the med school. Not only did we get into a med school, but it was like, the pick that, it was our top pick. So we were just like really, really grateful and so we definitely felt like Heavenly Father put his hands in that and helped us a lot. And so we're really grateful for that. All right, so the question is now, where are we moving? I'm so excited. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna be right back. We are moving to Texas, woo! I'm so excited, guys. So we are moving to Texas. I'm a little low-key nervous because I've never I've never lived in a different state than Utah where I live now. So I'm interested in seeing how it's going to be in a different state. And the weather is going to be very different because I live in a really cold area in Utah. And I like the cold, but Texas is really, really hot. It's going to be different, but I'm really excited for it. And I'm excited for this new adventure to... Just take my family, my husband, my baby, my puppy, and we're gonna go to Texas. And guys, I'm so excited for the Texas barbecue. I'm not gonna lie. I love steak. I love all things meat. So I'm so, so excited for that. So for any of you guys that live in Texas, let me know different, um, different places that you like to eat, especially meat things, because your girl loves it. And I'm so excited for some more Texas barbecue. Also, if there's other things too that you love about Texas, please let me know because I'm so excited. I just wanna know all things and do all the fun things and just, I'm just excited if you can't tell. Guys, I'm sorry. If you heard previously a dog crying, it's because my puppy, come here bear. My puppy wanted to come in, he was sad. Can you say hi? Are you gonna be a Texas puppy? Are you gonna be a Texas puppy? We were so excited, huh? We were so excited for it. Yeah, I'm so excited to move. Yes. Yes, we are. Go lay down. Go get your bone. Go get your bone. Anyway, we were so excited for Texas and I cannot wait. And guys, I just wanted to let you guys know, I was so excited that we were in Texas. I had to do a cute little Texas photo shoot. So prepare at the very end for our Texas little photo shoot because it's gonna be so cute. It's our family little photo shoot. Anyway, the next question I'm going to be answering is, did we find a home in Texas? For those of you who've been here for a while and watching our journey, we went house shopping a little bit before while I was pregnant. And we went and looked at houses and neighborhoods and just tr when we were deciding on our, on our ranking for med school, we were looking at neighborhoods and just kind of seeing if we could see ourselves living in these different neighborhoods in Texas and kind of nice to be able to look and that's how we like ranked our school and honestly though it was so hard ranking because all the different places in Texas are just so great and there's literally so many pros it was really hard to find even cons but the question is now did we find a house and where are we going to be living while we're in Texas so I'm going to show you guys a little snippet of us house shopping and then I'll tell you guys a little more about that
out shopping and it was kind of crazy and it was a little overwhelming because there's so many things that you've just I feel like I've never really learned about in the, when it came to house shopping so it was kind of crazy and I'm really nervous but we ended up finding so many different places and there were so many great neighborhoods and we ended up deciding that we are going to move into a house and I'm so excited. We literally put an offer and that was kind of crazy and doing all that adulting, it was, it was just, again, it was crazy. But we just put in an offer on a house, we're doing all this stuff and we are closing in a few weeks now. And so we are gonna be moving into this house and I'm so, so excited. And I'm also excited because this house I'm going to, I have lots of fun plans for. I'm gonna do a lot of DIY stuff. I'm gonna be doing lots of different girl construction stuff. And I, I'm just excited to make it our home and make it feel like home. And I'm just excited to learn a bunch about renovating a home and getting all this stuff done. I just, it's gonna be so cool. And I'm so excited. Kobe Bear is gonna have a backyard and we're just, we're just really blessed. And I just can't wait. So guys, so many fun things are happening and we're literally moving in a week. I need to start putting stuff away in my house and we just started packing and I'm gonna show you guys those videos in the next few weeks coming up of us packing and moving and it's gonna be crazy because not only are we moving really far away but we're also moving with a newborn and also a puppy and it's just a lot. But I'm so excited, I can't, like again, I can't wait. So. And I'm just so, so grateful for Chase and that he worked so hard and that we got into med school and I'm just, I'm just really, really happy and I'm so excited. So anyway, we're going to Texas. I cannot wait. Here's a cute little picture of our family saying that we're going to Texas because I was too excited and wanted to take a cute little pic. And yeah, thank you guys so much for following our story of this med school journey. And I'm excited to continue to share and give you guys updates on our family and our up and our life and what's going on. And again, I'm so excited to do some DIY stuff of planning our rooms and doing makeovers and making our house all cute and pretty and I'm so excited. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.